In this video, I'll show you how to create zones or points of interest on your live map so you can identify them on your trip's history as well as create rule-based alerts. So there's a number of ways to create zones on your live map. You can either import the zones through zones of messages, which we'll talk about. You can draw them on the live map by simply clicking add zone, or you can even add them through the chirps history, which we'll talk about as well. So your first step is you'd like to create a zone on your live map, whether it's a custom zone uh, where you want to have a detailed orientation of that zone. You most likely want to first identify that zone by simply or searching an address. And you can see I'm just going to type it in here. By identifying that zone on the live map, I can simply click here, show it on the map. Now, you can see the label showing up here, and it allows me to click on that to actually click on Add Zone, which will create a default square box. So, but we won't do that right now. We're actually draw, go ahead and actually draw this zone around this location. So you can see this, you'll have a lot of zones which might occupy a little bit of a larger space. You may want to take a little bit more time to actually draw the zones in. So you can go ahead and draw a polygon right around that zone. And this way you can make sure your drivers are identified when they do stop at that zone. So here I'm going to go, once I finish drawing, uh, it'll ask me to give this zone a name. So I'm just going to try type in a, an arbitrary name. You can identify zones into various groups that you set up as well. You have different uh, branches or locations. You can turn the visibility of the zone off as well. Suppose you want to create a zone, uh, an alert based on the zone, but don't want to show it on the live map. Uh, you can do that by simply clicking no, but click going into rules and groups, creating an alert based on that zone. So we'll keep it visible. You'll see under zone types, uh, there's three default zone types, customer, home, office. Now you can create new zone types, but in this case, we'll say this is a customer, so we'll leave it as is. You'll also have the option to select whether to show the vehicles stopped in that zone. And what that basically means is in your trip's history to identify the zone name on your trip's history. So, I'll leave this as default, and you can also select a color if you wish. You can even select an expiry date for this zone. So by saving this zone on the live map, you can see it draws a, a nice shape here. And when the vehicles do stop in this zone, you'll be able to see it on your trip's history. So let's talk a little bit about some of the other ways you can create zones as well. So if you wish to create a zone based on some history that uh, the vehicle is driven. I'll simply go to trips history and you can see we can get a historical list of stops that were done for this particular vehicle and it'll give me the address and you might notice okay I don't have a zone associated with this name this address which is why it's just showing the street address but I have a customer there so you may wish to associate a, a zone name so you can simply create a zone by again by clicking on this address, it'll identify where that location, where the vehicle stopped. Since this is probably well represents where this customer is, since this is where your vehicle stopped, you could simply again, click on that location, click on add zone, or again, just add zone and draw around this zone. The third way you can import zones is through the import zones feature. Now using the import zones feature you can see you can drag and drop an Excel file right into this or you can click on here to upload a file. From here I can also see some examples on how that Excel file should look like and it's a simple Excel file you simply need to have the customer name in the first column address in the second column. Reference and comments are not mandatory fields, but you may have those, as well as size for that zone here as well. 
take that and the import will give you a list of zones that have been successfully imported and any failed zones as well to look at. So those are the basic ways of creating a zone. And if you have any further details, feel free to, if details or questions, feel free to email us at support at gofleet.com.